Corvette Racing began their first World Endurance Championship campaign on familiar ground, finishing second in the 1,000 miles of Sebring. For Nick Tandy and Tommy Milner, it's been a chance to test the mid-engine C8R against the world's best manufacturers. I think what's special about, about WEC is the fact that we are racing all over the world. It is a world championship. That's a, a pretty unique thing. I've been racing in the U.S. for so long now on the same racetracks for so many years. I know where everything is on the racetrack. I know where everything is outside of the racetrack. So it's been exciting for me to have a new challenge. We want to show this awesome race car that we've had running in IMSA for, for a couple of years. We want to show it to as many people as possible. We want to race it in front of as many people as possible and give the opportunity for the people in Europe, the people in Japan, all around the world, the chance to see us race and hopefully come and support us. With two decades of success in North America behind them, the IMSA champions would travel the world in the FIA's flagship endurance series. And for the 12-year veteran Milner, it's been a new experience. There are little differences in procedures and, and rules and things like that. Some of the strategy stuff is a little bit different from IMSA. And it's a big change for the crew and for the team to get set up to work out of realistically two 40-foot containers as opposed to to massive 18 wheelers. So from that side, those guys have had to do a lot more work than we have as drivers. Victory at Monza in round four of the series was good reason to celebrate. For Tandy, competing on classic tracks in endurance races is what he loves and what he does best. There is an added pressure knowing that you're the one for two hours at a time, three hours at a time in control of this car and all these people's dreams and effectively their destinies. But when you're getting ready to get in the car, whether it's in the middle of the night, start of the race, this is what gets me up in the morning, this is what gets me going and this is effectively what I, what I live for. A Le Mans winner with Porsche, Tandy joined the Detroit squad last season and scored valuable points in their clean sweep of the IMSA titles. When Nick joined us last year, I didn't think that there was much that I needed to help him with, but there is obviously that transition period for him. It's a new team. There's always that uncertainty of who do you go to for a problem. So from that side, I can guide him along of who to talk to and where to go for certain things. Of course, the drivers, we spend a lot of time together talking about other stuff other than just racing. But coming in when you've got such a, an experienced set of teammates, it makes the transition so much smoother. The Briton's role this season has been an important one, using his experience to help his American teammate with some of the trickier circuits on the WEC calendar. I'm probably one of the most experienced guys on the whole team from a World Endurance Championship point of view. I've raced a series a couple of times in the past. You know, Tommy is a long time top professional, but there's a few tracks that he hasn't been to that are on this calendar. Spa was a challenge for sure. With every racetrack, there's always little tricks that you learn over the years of, you know, certain bumps in the racetrack and certain places in the past that you've found time. From a driving point of view, I can maybe add a little bit of insight, but it's also things like the operational side, going to these new tracks. The team asked me for anything I can add maybe some pitfalls that we can avoid. Any sort of experience coming into these new races that the team has never been to before, it adds an extra element. The season finale in Bahrain marks the end of the WEC's GTE Pro Class and Tandy's final race with the team. As Corvette shift priorities towards a universal GT3 category, the pressure is on to end the era on a high. We're racing at the highest level of sports car racing and doing that all over the world. We are collectively here to do the same thing and to do it as well as we possibly can. The sports car racing paddock is like a, a traveling community and a bit more friendly in that sense where everybody is here to help everybody else until it comes time to go race on the racetrack and then it's, you know, all bets are off.